crazy. And who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Torgal. Hey. His name is Torgal. We two acquainted. Awesome. Oh, right. Robert Williams with a left knee brace on. My hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more of the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumors that you'd survive. You see Barbie this weekend? But I never paid them much heed. No. <laughs> no interest. What about Oppenheimer? I didn't come all this no way interest. for your handsome mug. Oppenheimer looks good. However, on the Believe end, it. She seemed worth muddying my boots for. No interest as in you really just don't watch. I'm not a big movie guy. Hold on one second to the cinema scene. None the worse for wear. Still might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up. Eh, 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 eh. Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not when we've a warm bed waiting. It's all right. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. Who the fuck is that big dude who sounds like a fucking Davy? I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. <coughs> huh. Yeah, okay. Hey! My, so my dog is back. This is all the fucking... <coughs> Run back, run back of acquaintance is not nonsense. Send true storm, yeah? The Deadlands. Right? <laughs> not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight sucked this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Home sweet home. I can't look because I already have it. This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nails. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, so are you. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. Well, but none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. Go on. 
Have a look around. I'll bring my soul. Hide, hide. Oh, alright. Recap. Real quick. Uh, so we are in the Great Hall of... I have no fucking clue. And we in this bitch like a newborn baby. I, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how we're doing. Uh, we are in this bitch like a newborn baby. Yep. Um, we were in the war. We had done all that fun stuff. We got into a fight. Tried to jump the dominant. Yeah, realized the dominant was his homegirl from when he was younger. This man beat out his like superior and then got saved by a bunch of random people with like a crazy lightning magic and then they brought us here to a freaking cat not even a castle i don't even know what this is this is a spot in the blight so yeah just working on a pet project of mine Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. All right. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills, conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. Of it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help from Branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil to win. Oh, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not... Interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominance of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you.
Let's make ready then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. <laughs> hey, this is one of the big fuckers who saved me, who has like the weird voice. <laughs> is it? Oh no. Good, was it? Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Oh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith? To the forge it is then. Oh, wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. What did he just give me? Freaking oh, continental rum. Are you Blackthorn? Hey. What if I am? I'm no time for idle chatter. Let's get to him. I'll fucking talk to him. Talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lostwing, and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, Goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. So this man just wants some little, little rum? A, look at you. a little yak? That's what we doing? <laughs> Jesus. I doubt that lock has stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can, as a favor to Goot's mind. True it. And but the I know that. Caesar Square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Nom, 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 nom. All right. So. A word of advice: Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. All right. What are these people? Oh, oh, another slave just freed. Two slaves. This chick ripped the scar off her face. That's actually fire. She ripped the brand off her face. I fuck with that. You blankets, quick as you like. All right. Right, we make it comfortable while the bed's made up. <laughs> well, you're just gonna stand there. Someone face some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if Otto needs out, eh? Yeah. Wait, me? What the hell have I got myself into? <sighs> Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Shit, at this rate, he won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need tire. Well, go on. Shift your ass. Was Tai the one looking after Jill? Your friend needs a rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did say so. He's going to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun.
Another fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be <coughs> more than happy to help you. I need right. some of that right writ. I don't even oh. know how to pronounce that. And thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Uh -huh. Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. Yeah. Uh -huh. You helped us today. And we won't forget it. What's with the books? What's, what the hell is this? Hey, old man, what's up with it? Yours Tell me is something. not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? Show sure is. You could say that. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates the Second Hyperboreus. That's uh... <laughs> quite a mouthful. His name is what? Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tomes, on account of the uh, company I keep, and what varied company. I am a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. When I was very young, Yet, when I arrived... Fortunately... Karen? I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. Item shop. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? Oh, rude. <laughs> it's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since mm. he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you going to buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. Uh, one second. Why? What's up, dog? Hey, Torgo, what's up, baby? this side now. And after all I've done for you. All right. All right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me. Thank your dog. This woman takes care of your daughter and puts you on. Hey, shout out, to the, shout out to the former slaves helping people. You feel me? I'm also happy they don't look, all look like black people because I would be kind of like, eh, wow. Like, you know how, like, the Ishvalans are all, like, black with red eyes or, like, Indian looking or brown with red eyes? That's just no way, though. I appreciate you. Finished, are you? I'm also going to take whatever this is. You all done? Leaving already, are ya? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? <laughs> this should be fun. Right.
blood flies everywhere. I told you we should have taken the Crystal Road. Eww. I told you that we're outlaws. Well, you want every bounty hunter in Storm harrying us from here to the Holy Capital? Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? Get off. The Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. But a place like this still exists is a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. You will be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. <laughs> that there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Torkel. Now, we don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. Okay. Did I mention there'd be deadly beasts? There'll be deadly beasts. Nothing a trained assassin can't handle, though. How reassuring. You First of all, for that and something I always do when I be playing Final Fantasy games is I look at the fucking scenery. Now, this scenery is good. It's not as good as it is in fucking uh, Final Fantasy VII and the remake, but this is actually pretty fucking solid scenery. Like, look at this, the, the leaves, see, leaves don't move the same way normal leaves would move. Like, I could just walk through them, that's fine. But, there's a little bit of movement that kind of, like, you know, imitates, like, real life stuff. So that's nice. You gotta take time to sit back and appreciate the scenery every so often in these games. There's probably some smoke up here because my health bar just showed up. Is that a bug? What is that? Oh, maybe see? What's up with it? Like Maybe they Dog attack! Get him, dog! Get, get him, dog! Keep your distance, boy. Let's go! Get him, dog! Okay, use square just as opponent attacks to parry the strike, temporarily slowing down time and leaving the opponent open to counter. Oh, okay. I don't even know when these things are attacking, but okay. We still have a way to go. You me dog? Lazy ass dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. This way, your lord shit. Oh, alright, so we can fucking we can feed a dog and shit? Alright, cool. Pretty straightforward. Feed a dog. Fetch. Tuck ass under the tree. The fuck is that? That is the biggest fucking pine cone squirrel I have ever seen. I don't even know what the fuck that is. I don't want no smoke with that. Neither is this nigga. What in good Grieger's name is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of Storm to fall to the blight. Poor sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. Try and stay out of its path. So the boring parts of this thing is. Hold on. Oh, what the heck? The Venus fly tower. All right, hold on. Any 
Hey, I see you trying to shoot shit at me. Fire should hurt them way more. They're plants. I hear that playing in my back of my head, by the way. Where's the dog at? Get him, dog! Hey, get him. let's go! Alright, so I little, those little yellow things tell me whenever someone's gonna attack me. Well, that's the underdog sorted. I'll take it from here. Alright, well. I didn't expect the Venus fly traps are gonna fucking attack me. Does this man ever lose, like, magic? I feel like there's no MP bar, like. Which is kind of weird. Oh, okay. You can toggle between the dog and the item shit. Alright, bet. But yeah, there's no, like, MP for this guy. He just kind of, like, throws magic as he, as he sees fit. Oh, can't break this? After you. Thank you kindly. Why don't you just break the... Uh, uh, I was going to say, just kick the wood down, but whatever. The ruins. They're everywhere, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, like, somebody got lazy on those ruins. Now, see, now that's good scenery. But in that first scene, that shit looked kind of blurry. Some say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. Why don't you just break the... Uh, uh, I was going to say, just kick the wood down, but whatever. The ruins. They're everywhere, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, like, somebody got lazy on those ruins. Now, see, now that's good scenery. But in that first scene, that shit looked kind of blurry. Some say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. Okay, so why did the music stop? That's usually not a good sign. Usually means some shit's about to happen. Case in point, some shit. A wyvern. I can see that. Doesn't happen to be a friend of yours, does he? Oh! Oh! Okay. Get him, dog. Did I parry him with a fireball? Get him, dog. This time. Hey. Talk about how anytime you fight something in Final Fantasy, it drops some bread. Like, what dragon you know hold five hundred dollars on him? Huh? Like, well, I just get, oh, I just found five hundred gil in this life. dragon. Keep your eyes open. Hmm. See the dog. Dog, heal me. Heal me, dog. Heal me, dog. 
see? Shit, dog. Look at this. Bad dog. Bad dog. You like that, don't you? What? What are you working at? What you working at, boy? What is it, boy? At least one of us. These woods. If we're Thank lost, you, Togo. Torgo will point us in the right direction. I can reset and unlearn all these stupid ass abilities and boost all the ones I actually do use, but we're gonna leave that shit to rock for now. Ooh. This looks like a cutscene. You better hope so. This shouldn't take too long. So much for your shortcut. What? Still short, just not quite as quick. But it'll be a downside quicker if you help me. I thought exactly. Oh. Yeah.
Stand back! You're dominant. I am. I. But not by choice, mind. Old bloody realm of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones realm who saw fit to home. Sid. You say you want to help dominance and bearers. But what's in it for you? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack, dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind of choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Okay.